All right, another nice morning in Ontario. And to start off this morning, we're going to give a couple of bucket loads of silage into the machine because we are almost at the point where I said I wanted to purchase the case loader and that was three hundred and fifty thousand dollars so we are maybe a bucket or two away from that we're gonna start off there and our other task for today is gonna to be doing some wind rolling over in field 14 behind Jeff's house Other than that, we just really kind of wait for crops to ripen up. Got all our animal work done for a few days. And if we've got time, we may well go over and sell some crops as well at the store. You get a chance to see uh, some different parts of this map. Thing we've shown so far. Make sure I don't lose any of our silage here. Some people have asked me, do I ever play multiplayer? Yes, I have played multiplayer. Uh, I do not have his permission to uh, use his name but let's call him a popular British farming simulator YouTuber who owns server space and I've off and on gone on that server and uh, played around with the folks on there now lately it's been very full gotten more popular but uh, I would get on about 8 o'clock uh, American time would be about three or four in the morning in Europe and it used to be that there really weren't many people on there sometimes just me by myself and I would get in there and uh, do mainly yard work and work with the animals on his multiplayer server I did say I mainly play with keyboard it's hard to uh, do a real coordinated effort and uh, drive like you would want to to uh, drive a wagon or uh, coordinate with somebody so uh, I kind of limited myself to just the yard work and animals something that if uh, my driving was a little off it didn't screw everybody else up pretty fun enjoyed it yeah, not a lot of want, people would like to uh, make four or five trips to uh, the main yard for water for the cattle all the time. A little bit tedious. All right, we got our three hundred sixty-six thousand dollars. We're going to go into the screen and buy that case loader. And yes, it is a modded case loader. All right, it says New Holland, but it is a case brand loader. We may not fetch that from the store today either. I guess we need a bucket for that loader as well. We'll go in and buy the, the standard bucket probably here. Wheel loaders, there we go. Universal bucket, 6,400 liters. All right, and that's at the store for us. I think it's light enough for us to go out and do that wind rolling. All right, we got the case tractor. This is the smallest wind rower that comes from the game. 
and I've generally just been doing field 14 here I didn't see a, a point in getting a huge wind roar yeah, like I said we're behind Jeff's house here where we parked the tractor uh, last session I'll give him a honk here so we know somebody's not stealing our tractor I've mowed and partially wind rode this field. I know some of these things can get tedious, so left left enough just to see uh, how I'm doing it. We will uh, get the forge wagon and uh, pick up these rows. I think almost all of it's going to go to silage bunkers down at the BGA. Since when we checked on animals, we had plenty of grass for them to eat. Hmm, probably driving a little too fast with that wind blower on the back. I did find an interesting uh, mower on a mod site that is uh, what I would call a sickle bar mower. It's uh, just a long bar that comes out to the right of the tractor, mows the grass. It's what uh, my neighbor uh, used to mow his grass with for hay when I lived out on the farm. I didn't find too many on uh, mod sites. It's mostly the uh, the modern, you know, hydraulic brush hog type uh, mowers. I bet Jeff's neighbor doesn't like me driving behind here all the time. Yep, nice sunrise. I do like the, the looks of this map. I guess we'll have to start thinking of a new map to, uh, to do a series on. If you've got a map you particularly want to see, uh, maybe especially an American map, or North American map. I've been looking at a couple of German maps that look, uh, look very nice. Give me a chance to use mainly uh, European equipment. Mm, we're going to miss that last little bit there, aren't we? Mm. Yeah, I was looking at a map uh, the other day. Had a nice uh, garage workshop shed that had toolboxes, welding machines and things. When I was growing up I remember just about every farmer has some skill in mechanicking and welding. You know, you save yourself some time and money if you can uh, fix things yourself instead of having to pay somebody out of your pocket to uh, repair tractors or weld up equipment. I think we're going to wing row these two together. If that's going to be possible. Yes, maybe. Alright, and that is it for the wind rowing on number 14. We will take this back to the yard. I believe we will sell some crops today if I can keep from driving the tractor into the river.
this wind rotor it's not terribly big but it's a little bit tall for uh, our extra sheds that we put in the yard so I've been keeping it in this large pole bomb on the end I had some spare space it seems like a good spot for it Oof, I might have to uh, wash tractors one day too I believe I will park the case and grab uh, Blue New Holland that's up here for our run to the store to sell crops. Grab our green trailer. I guess we'll have to look at what we have and what the prices are at the store. I think we've got a few different choices we can go to on this map. All right, let's pull up our storage. We've got a lot of wheat, so let's try to sell some wheat today. It's our best price for wheat. Looks like the Falls Inn. Which I need to look at the map. Yes, the Falls Inn is uh, in an area we haven't gone to before. At least since I've been recording gameplay. I'm not going to sell a lot. I'm not sure why I detached there. No oh mind. I have to go around again. It was a little bit of sloppy tractor driving on my part. Okay, wheat. Wait for our silo to fill up some of the wheat. And we'll drive over the falls in, which is kind of up the hill to the left of uh, the farm here. You know, I keep seeing that chicken shed. Uh, I do not believe I'm going to do any chicken work on this map. Okay, we're going up this long hill. That's kind of why I use the bigger tractor instead of uh, the small yard tractor to do this job. Even with the extra horsepower, it's... Uh, not the fastest thing to get to the top of this hill. You see on the left here is another empty barn for equipment. If we do extend this, uh, this map out to many parts and we get uh, fields up here, might well have to put equipment in that barn. Alright, this is the little uh, town here, where we're going to sell this wheat. Let's do our business first, then we can drive around a little bit, look at things. I think there's a bar, or a, what would you call it, a pub, in town. The 
falls in where we want to go. It was not that thing we drove over, I realized later. There we go. There's our selling point. Very uh, sort of European style houses in this uh, part of the map. In uh, Kansas, where I grew up, there are some small towns that are like European immigrants, and they have some similar buildings and architecture. Uh, one that comes to my mind is uh, called Lindsborg, sort of south central Kansas. There's a lot of Swedish immigrants. A big festival every year. Swedish food, and traditional uh, Swedish dancing and such. Take a slow drive through town. Ah, I did not notice that before. The uh, airborne park bench. I have a feeling this is probably, uh, yep, on the map I can see spinnery. This must be where you would sell wool if you were doing sheep on this map. Interesting details there. This sort of a hotel type building. Oh, we better watch for our cars there. Yep, and that's what the town's like. So we'll go back to the farm, park up our trailer. Like I say, we're pretty much waiting for uh, crops to come in, ripen up. I think next video we'll do some grass collecting in field 14 there may just have a nice session of vehicle washing too All right, back at the farm. That is nice not having trees or buildings or uh, solid objects placed on the corners. So you can cut the corner with a vehicle a little bit. Most people like to do that, I think. All right, let's check my backing ability here. Is the last thing on this video. Oh, we may get it in without any pull ups this time. All right. Nine thirty in the morning we got most of our chores done for the day. I guess it'd be time to go in and have a little coffee before we start the rest of our day. Yep, the sun's up. But well, we'll see y'all next time.